Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Your mic turn off? No? Maybe? No? It's on now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it takes a while to turn on when you first switch to the thing. That's probably... Oh, maybe. Okay, so we're recording. Hi, hello, good night, everybody. Yeah, yeah, here in the technical difficulties. Greetings, greetings, mm-hmm. greetings. I'm not even going to put that first one on there. We just go. Oh, okay. Just start with yeah. this. Because <laughs> okay. that was like 40 seconds. But um, welcome back. Um, yeah, welcome, welcome. We're going to jump into. Oh, that's going to sound weird. We're going to start off with Good Gal of the Week. <laughs> okay, okay. Good Gal of the Week goes to. Um, drum roll, please. Child. She is a Trini Nigerian based on the flags in her bio. And um, we just start off by saying, girl, you better than me. But um, her, I found, I came across her, um, her Instagram via Twitter, of course, mm-hmm. because she posted a video on her story. And, you know, from one social media to the next one, they copy and paste and repost and whatever, whatever screen record. Um, and there was a video of her at her mask camp picking up her costume for carnival and, um, her feathers were plastic. Now, there are some people who are like, oh, you got what you paid for and you got what was advertised because if you look at the pictures, it is a little shine on the thing or whatever, whatever. really think that they were gonna get plastic feathers like i did see that though i saw that that whole um the box. yeah that but all i'm gonna say from what it looks like on social media she handled that gracefully she didn't drag nobody she didn't go you know ignorant and do no psa cussing nobody out she did do her little psa or whatever um mm-hmm. just letting people know that she played with um wkt we kind of thing um for the atlanta actually <laughs> originally i think it was atlanta the cab but then she switched to the atlanta downtown car so when we get canceled i was gonna get to that yes oh, atlanta jeez uh, but yeah before, before we yeah, get to it. that i just want to be we... honest, i didn't participate in not one scratch of an event nothing nothing no powder no <laughs> soca nothing nothing i was not around for nothing though. Uh, before we even get to that, let me just promote her little page really quick because she does. Um, well, her page ought to be low. Oh my gosh, her big page then. There you go. Um, big up. She's a food stylist, a home cook. Um, and you know, I see her little pictures. I never heard of that. That's that's what it says on the page. If you want to look her up on Instagram, it is Foodie Optics. Everything is spelled properly: F O O D I E O P T I C S. And yeah, and it says she travels. So I guess if you need a caterer to fly in or whatever. I'm sorry. So is a food stylist different from a baker? And like not a baker. It's just it just says food stylist slash home cook. So she just she cook. What is that? She's she just saying like stylish. presentation. Yeah, I, I, I figure I say that's something. What so I'm saying, she, she cooks too, or she just yeah. you have your food and she come arrange your food. That's no, what no, I'm no. Saying. She cooks as well, and then okay, she also okay. makes that's sure it looks okay, and it makes know? sure it look nice. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. I was about to say she fixes my chicken. Presentation, <laughs> presentation is important to some that's people fine. for most. For me, cause, um, Myself as well, because if it look like yeah, because if it don't look good, man, I mean. Know, that goes for everything with some plates and they ate them and slop I... anyways <laughs> yeah no so big up trishana um trishana 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 she's she's I'm caribbean asking, it's, probably, it's probably it's like probably it's probably trishana <laughs> trishana is it like trishana or trishana? No, no. Well, big it's up spelled yourself, t-r-i-s-h-a-n-n-a so big up yourself mama yeah shout out to you so into this fucker now. Um, the Atlanta DeCab Carnival canceled literally the night before they were supposed to go on the road. <laughs> um, when Annie did her Wild Out Wednesday episode, or was it Wild Out Wednesday? I think it's what it's called. I'm sorry if I'm calling the show the wrong thing. Don't, don't, don't kill me. <laughs> but when she did the interview with the gentleman, 
she asked him about everything and, you know, if everything is going smoothly, Ray Tay Tay and the man said, you know, they're still waiting on permits. Da, da, da. This is a couple of weeks still ago. Waiting on That's exactly what she asked them, right? And he I was didn't saying, listen, so let me know. Yeah. So she, he was saying, you know, the city is taking forever because they have to allocate police officers that were going to be off duty for the regular stuff and to be able to get people to um, guide the parade. They're so they so Ray Tay Tay, right? So that don't tell you that y'all need one. So they don't got to be allocating <laughs> different people all over the damn place. One okay. In one part of the city, one in the other. Put it all And together. also, you probably should have put that shit in way ahead of the other people That's who did exactly. it. That's exactly. should have did that as soon as the last carnival was over. Next. Mm-hmm. Men I run put nobody. Well, as think about as I it too, get my though. Permit, I exactly. Need to get the think right. about it too. COVID, they didn't have no carnival last year. So they, who knows but whatever. Guess what? It sounds like the other ones were able to get their permits. So mm-hmm. no excuse. Yeah. They yeah. go on live with Shouldn't a whole bunch of hoopla. To, my thing is, that's even worse because if there was mm-hmm. COVID and you talking about, oh shit, this is the first one we about to be out, wouldn't you make sure you got all your ducks in a row as far as permits and documentation? You would have taken so much You wasn't so ready to be on the road then. No, exactly. you, still, you got COVID going on still. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they dropped something about, well, actually, I think they went live and was like, you know, yeah, it, looked li- it was live. It's it officially like canceled, guy. blah, 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 or whatever. So, I just want to know, like, did these people get refunded? I don't <laughs> like what happened to the people who signed up to play mass with Atlanta DeKalb Carnival because is there a support group? Men are knowing about men are money for them, but yeah, uh, I think that's people. I think that's like a masquerader's like worst fear, right? Mm. Like you pay all this money for all this costume, the costume, and angels, then COVID, yeah, and then it can <laughs> yo shit, and then it just cancel. Yo, like, what do you mean? Okay. Who gonna yeah. run me back my funds? That part. I need my funds. I need my ends. But yeah, <laughs> so it was only the downtown carnival that was on the road Saturday. Shout out to them. Um, but they did have two juves on Friday. I don't let me tell you, I don't know anything. I I was very frightened to go on my Instagram and swipe. <laughs> and I see that people been up from mine and yep. they're juve. And I'm like, wait a minute. Juve is mm-hmm. on Friday for me. I get ready for go work, Massa. No, Let you. Let me look. People there are Juve. <laughs> I'm at work. Up. Like, hold on. What? What? I'm at work. Like, wait there. What is? I was and like, that's why I sent you. I was like, they have a Juve right now. Mm-hmm. And then I'm on that people. I was like, oh, you're here. You're here. Oh, oh, mm-hmm. oh. Look who, listen. Yeah. All who came in from all bouts to act mm-hmm. up for the weekend. I got on the yard. Yeah. No people on flying. On. Miss on. on. I found missing that people video too. <laughs> no, I people, hide. Listen, I went to one event Saturday night. We went to an overdose. Oh, I didn't. Did I tell you about overdose? Listen, me as in the me and so, the people. Yes, you, me, like, you, me, you twin. Um, yes, you. So we. Well, no, the twins pulled up before me, and then text me when I'm down the street and said, "You can't bring mixed drinks." I was like, "Excuse me, what?" Hold on. Okay, start from the top. Start from the top. This is a cooler fet? This is a cooler fet. Uh, th- okay, yeah, I ain't got time for it. Bitch. This is a cooler fet, right? Where well, your peer, well, we were last minute, so we pay our $60 farm. So we said, all right, whatever. I'm going to have my drinks. We just don't go and vibe, have a great time. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get my cup. I'm, a, you know, my sneaking water bottle that I sneak in, and my, you know, oh, no water. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but I'm just saying I had that's what was in my bag. I didn't do my pouches. I just mixed one bottle of like the syrup bottle of rum punch. I was like, okay. I got cups. I wasn't doing the most. Okay, thankfully. So I'm pulling up. Twin is like, oh, um, we can't bring liquor. Like we can't igloo, bring igloo bag kind of nights. Yeah, that's what I had. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, shoulder bag, you know, insulated. Igloo. Yeah, a little insulated bag. bag, yes. Because I was like, I'm not lugging this. And then after I saw... I you know you better than keep... to be lugging igloos at night times because... Also, you know better. it was the place that we went to where I caught bronchitis. <laughs> so oh. that was another reason why I didn't bring that cooler. Because I was what like, place was that? that? That outside trailer um, <laughs> truck yard... <laughs> Not the one that we was at, right? Yes. The same one? Yes. Across the track and down the road? Yes. Oh, yes. yeah, like, oh, it's no. It's one. I didn't realize where it was until I buy the ticket and that's the address pop up. I said, why does this address sound so familiar? I look it up. I said, but Jesus. No, I said, well, they go feel Luau or something. Oh, job. Oh, man. Anyway, so I said, y'all. okay. Wow. I put on my comfortable shoes. I mean, not carrying no, no dragging, no rolling cooler because I'm not able. Yeah. No. 
So I'm like, what do you mean we can't bring mixed drinks? She's like, yeah, I had to bring it back to the car or throw it out. I was like, oh, no. After we don't pack up a uh, cup and rate, I'm like, all right, whatever. So I get there. Um, so and I didn't realize they had two. Listen, I didn't realize. <laughs> but, you know, so you know, me and the twin, them carry on though. So. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so <laughs> I pull up and apparently I went to the wrong parking lot because I went to the first entrance where we were at the first time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, no, no. Come to the next one because that one was charging forty dollars. I was like, I'm not paying forty dollars to park, you know, dirt road. Like, what's wrong with y'all? Mm-hmm. So the next one, which was literally right next door, was like twenty five dollars cheaper. So I was like, OK, whatever. So I back out going whatever and i was like you know what i have two cup let me fill up two cup me and i come make a drink while we are walking on our road mm-hmm. so we drink and we walk in <laughs> we go into the party whatever link up with uh, everybody else and we're like all right cool we sit there we're like yo let's go see how much the liquor is at the bar mm-hmm. they only sell in bottles oh my gosh do y'all sell chaser no but you get chaser when you buy a bottle okay see see it's not for me it wasn't for me so I was like, uh, nah. Bro. So this is so this is essentially a bring your own bottle event. This is not a cooler fit because you're saying we can only bring bottles. We can't bring ice. We can't bring water. We can't bring ju- no. um, chaser. We can't bring mixed drinks. It's not, a BYOB. No. Yeah, this is definitely. This is not a cooler fit. This is a BYOB. This motherfucker. Let me tell Listen, you. Listen, we 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 were pissed, but me and I, and I had already started drinking, so. <laughs> Gotcha. So we were kind of just like, woo. <laughs> and then I don't remember who had the bright idea. I don't remember which twin it was. But one of them said, you know what? Why not we should go back to IKR and go throw the buckle over the fence? Because you know it's an outside something. Right. So we said, <laughs> that's smart. That's smart. You know that's exactly what we did? Of course. <laughs> that's smart. Listen, we go stand up by the fence. You know, we in the middle somewhere. It wasn't that right. packed or anything. So we get to the side and Twin is like, oh, how am I going to know where y'all at? I said, I'm going to just wave my flag and you see the flag, you know where to throw the bottle. All right. Mm-hmm. She said, all right, cool. So we sit on that. My phone has been tripping all weekend, by the way. Like it has been lagging, frozen, mm-hmm. all type of whatever. So I'm trying to text her back because she's like, where you at? And I'm like, man, fuck, message not go true. So I'm going to start wave the flag. Next time I feel something looking from my bottom. I said, what the mom buckle? Turn around, bucket up on the ground. I said, really, nigga? <laughs> Dog, could have gave me a fucking concussion. Dead. <laughs> so, of course, now I pick it up, run, God. We said, all right, we're good. So we get to the middle. We waiting for her to come in. And I was like, wait there. Let me text her and see if I, the two buckets should drop or if I just one. She said, which one? She said, two. She said, oh, shit. So she gave me the next one. I run, gone back over there. Of course, nobody didn't see. So she picked up the next buckle. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> so we went and got, what was it? Like, I think it was like $5 for ice. So it was like a bucket. Like, you know, what? like the bucket. <laughs> Right, I thought it was gonna be like a little ziplock bag, like the five by seven ziplock bag, but it was like a bucket, like when you know when you buy bottles, they give you a little mm-hmm. plastic bucket full of ice. So we said, all right, dash for two mixed drinks in okay. there. We we'll go on about our business, and we get free cup to come. We buy the ice. Listen, go suck on the self. You hear me? Oh, okay. <laughs> because like, Listen. you know, excuse mm-hmm. me, what? Never again. Mm-hmm. We're never going to that event again, Bless ever, God. because yeah. that was a ghetto. Listen, okay. The vibes were nice though. Cash. You send me that tonight. You see you night night. You send me <laughs> that for a week in a bowl. We must go. Ray, Ray. Say, you know, we never plan to go nowhere though. We never have no plans to go out, go out in the Atlanta street. Listen. And then look there. That's that sounds and very, then, yeah, very, yeah, very much yeah. proud of humiliation. <laughs> and then SSS sold out. That looked like it was That crazy. looked like it was fun. Let's see people ask them say, uh uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Not surprised. Yeah. I was like, I was beer powder. I was like, yeah. yo, red, red, red everywhere. I was like, yeah. Mm, next year, you have to catch it. Yeah, next Box, year. From boxing, yeah. I kind of apparently. <laughs> apparently, I dropped ticket from boxing. Those are for your friends and family. You ain't broadcast that because Not I have alerts on for SSS. No, <laughs> you send that link to your friends and family so they get the early bird tickets, and like. Ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no man, way. I try, man, I try book from early. Mm, listen, you not even know what I keep of the year. I go start good or what. But yeah, buy a ticket for what? End up, okay. end up me in? But anyways, um, mm. what else happened? What else happened? SSS, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh, by the time this drops, it'll be the first day of Pride Month. You know, hey. it will be. Yes. Um, it's Pride Eve. It is Pride Eve. Um, 
Yeah. They got some of themselves. On I am. Um, selves, on all of themselves. All of the selves that you Weird have. Selves. The non selves, the multiple selves, the, the singular the selves. You know, big up all Boas. Big up <laughs> you got now. <laughs> Not the Bowers. <laughs> Listen, all of them and them were like Batsy and I'm Listen, et cetera. Of, you know what? The, I was uh-oh. gonna say something, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to blow this person up. But I feel like oh, I, I should know. because I don't like. You know, what? I'm gonna just keep it general like this. If you are a man and you are straight and you oh, are yeah, working somewhere, yeah, no, so I can't say name. No, I don't. We don't oh. got to do all that. We ain't got to do all that. But if you are, um, I don't care, a straight man, straight Caribbean man, whatever, and you're working an event, and that event happens to be a gay event, like, <laughs> if you're broke, just say so. If you're poor, just say is. so. Don't go there and make videos and post them to social media, and talk shit about gay people. This and gay, well, gay Batty men, this and gay men, that. Yeah, all these types of things. Like, you're oh, working. Be day, Jamaican you self. are working day event. Like, did you, you need forget? the money? Apparently, like, did you forget exactly? They paying you. The bottom of my pay you. Like, I was just like, yo, when you really see people, that shit really, pisses me off. It get on my nerves because I know, like, and another thing is like, I know you. There's lesbians that you're cool with, exactly. There's, like dykes that you're cool with, like exactly. And you cool with, like, and you'll dap them up, hug them up. It's mm-hmm. all good. But then you get around these game and ain't nobody was nobody want you. Like my back. thing with that too is mm-hmm. like. You don't know who is out or what and who is watching also no, because no, your page is public. Shit, yo. You work exactly. for somebody's company. Ex- that too. You can offend the wrong person. Shut exactly. your whole shit down. Like, if, I was that, if I was that type of nigga, I'm not. I just didn't really care for it. I think it was very tasteless. Tasteless. Um, I don't really even care to be like knowing that person anymore. Like I probably would see them and wouldn't even speak because I just found it nasty. Just very disgusting. Like, what was like, the you purpose? You to do a job. Then you talking all types of shit. Then the rain came and you want to talk about some God, God don't like, like that. It. Bitch, every party that was out, God didn't God like rained. it, I guess. Are you dumb? God didn't like it. Man. Bitch, I bet you if you wasn't there, they shit would have went nicely. The sun would have shined, right? Bad man. You call me with that bad man, bo. I, yo, like, my thing, y'all too much. Bruh. Like, I don't, straight men that just sit there and they want to talk shit about gay men. They there. They live in their best life. They don't give a fuck about you and you bothered by them. Why are you You're, so bothered by them? It's giving obsessed. It's, it sound gay to me. It's hell. How, what a nuts bet you bothering you? These, I bet like, you he's not on anybody's social media from being at that event. Dog. But but he got all of them on his because he want to show video talking about some all of these batiman all, all of, of these, these batiman what yeah like Nick like ten videos it was like a series yes like 10 like your videos. whole story for the first like hour or so that you're there you talking about you recording these men known you spent your day around gay men until you decided to post them and then I see some of the men in the video like who's gay you the one filming them exactly. I should really should have commented and be like, but you's the real Batman though, you know, like yeah, you, you have, have money in your thing, and they all of these men, like, yes, have money at them speed on the up. beach, yeah, yeah, Wamtio, strange behavior, I, yeah, ooh. yeah, he get down key at a week <laughs> of the year because what yeah, the hell? yeah, like get the fuck on, big ass pep the nose, next, <laughs> next. Shiny, this is shiny. Yes, fucking at him on this down good down. ass fucking yeah. Pride Eve, like Man. yeah, for sure. Mind their business. On top of all of this, we have you know the people that are gonna roll out all their rainbow flags in support of quote unquote the all LGBT the plus mm-hmm, community. Yes, literally gay for the month, and you know. On one hand, I feel like I do this every year. On one hand, I'm like, yay, visibility. But at the same time, it's like, dog, y'all are capitalizing off of this shit in such a real way. And I really want the gaybies to Pick know aside. that. Exactly. No, that this shit ain't real. It's 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 money. At the end of the day, it's a business. Like, oh, just like the Juneteenth man. thing that's coming up. You Did you want see? Them to show love or you don't want them to show exactly. love? Exactly. Like, because if they didn't show it, it would be like, well, what the fuck? Like, y'all still mm-hmm. not giving us recognition. You know what I'm saying? So you really got to mm-hmm. pick a side with these people. You saw the um, Juneteenth setup for the plates and napkins or whatever. Talking about some free I as fuck so. or some dumb shit like that. And yeah, I was like. I it. I... <sighs> yeah. It was these companies be doing. Year, yes. After I realized that, like, white people can be off on that day, too. I don't know. 
Yeah, I like that. How the hell are you off? Nah, you should still <laughs> Your go to work. Your ass needs to be working. Like, what the f- Like, mm-mm. Yeah, I feel like that should be, but see, ugh, girl, can you imagine yeah. what a big stink that would cause in this oh, country? Oh, of course. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's your, your prejudice again. Were your ancestors yeah. still under the impression that they were slaves? Right. Wild. <laughs> like, Wild. yeah. So all of these uh, holidays and quote unquote holidays and everything else in between, like, it's just, it's marketing. It is. It's marketing, and I I hate it for us, like I said, but at the same time, it's like, you know, for the young ones who are just like, oh, my Mm -hmm. gosh, yay, I can go get all my gay things, my rainbow this and my... Uh Uh-huh. Not the rainbow suspenders. (laughs) I never had a pair of those. That's when you deep in it, child. You had had rainbow suspenders? I had rainbow suspenders. Ah! Of course I did. I had a rainbow belt. Rainbow belt. I, I still got have my rainbow belt. At two brothers for five dollars. <laughs> like the all little bracelets. I look a jing jing. Like, mm-hmm. Yes. I used yes. to have my rainbow ring. My little bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, big up all the gaybies going to prides for the first time. Be safe, Aww. people. Yo. Um. Be safe. My people. My people. My people. With the prides and the marches and mm-hmm. the, all of this stuff coming up, y'all please be safe. You know, I ain't really got to say what the hell been going on because y'all should know, but y'all just be safe when y'all going out. Um, Don't just be going out by yourself. Make sure you with people. Stay alert. Stay aware. Share your, mm-hmm. uh, share your location with people this summer, man. I don't know. People who actually care about you, not the person yeah, that calls you at 2 in the morning for some ass. ass. friends that y'all claim that. Or those. So real, like, just keep an eye out. Share it with your mama. Shit. And that's <laughs> all. And, like, stay, be down with your people. Y'all chill. Stay hydrated. All that stuff. Definitely stay hydrated. Watch the drugs y'all taking. Okay. It is hot. I'm not, not going to tell you not to take drugs because we grown. But watch the drugs y'all taking, please. Be responsible. Drink responsibly. Okay. Don't be taking drinks from random people that you ain't see mix it or pour it or none of that stuff. Like Even then, like, While be we careful. While we drinking nutties. Right. <laughs> Those were sealed. <laughs> No, we don't okay. know what they put in there before okay. they put it. Okay, they ain't come from the store sealed now, did they? With that <laughs> that mixture, come on now. <laughs> but I feel you. I understand. These are different times, okay? Different times. It's a different time, is it? Mm-hmm. What time mm-hmm. is it? Because if you went up to June right now and you see this nigga talking about daddy, you would be right there getting a nutty. <laughs> like, yeah, yo, what's yeah. up? <laughs> it's the culture. It's the culture. True, <laughs> true, true. Um, What else? It's really about to be June, bitch. I'm scared. Yo, in a couple hours. <laughs> Legit. Yeah, yeah. Where has this care, year man. gone? Um, twenty twenty two just a run so like where y'all forgot? She's trying to run away because it's been honestly a shit show from start. I to don't finish. even know what to, I don't even know what to call these shits no more. Like it. We're still in retrograde. I'm looking forward to June second when Metro- Mercury retrograde is over. Yay! Yay. But. It's just- <laughs> I don't know. Every month is something new, something else happening. Damn People near every trying week. Trying to get out of COVID. I, it's a lot. Yeah. And then all these like, things that have been happening, the shootings, the this, the that. People. Mm-hmm. All that shit you was talking about. What was it? The teacher and the student shit. What's oh, yeah. There? So. Okay. So the first one I saw today. Um. Is an Oklahoma middle school teacher that's 28 years old is charged with sending naked photos and videos to a student, 16 years old, after telling him she'd heard after what after telling him she'd heard rumors that he liked her. Now, I'm guessing he doesn't unless they go. To, it's a K to 12 school or whatever, because mm-hmm. she's a middle school teacher. They have a lot and of they're 16. Over there, right? yeah. yeah. So. Even still, like, like in the article, it's like, you know, the age of consent is 16. Yeah, but y'all need to, this is my thing, right? When we talk about the age of consent, it's mm-hmm. in relation to people in your same age group. It's yeah. not, I'm 16 and I'm going to consent to this 30 year old person to have their way with me. That's not because there's a level of manipulation in that from Facts. the older person. So it's like I think they charged her with um what is it? Something about um okay, so she's charged with using technology to engage in communication for sexual purient interest with a minor and a warrant is out for her arrest. Oh damn, they ain't got her. Damn. Oh shit. Oh no. So yeah. Um Remember that one story. You remember that one story with the guy and the and the teacher? 
And, oh, um, yeah. The that little throwback boy. one. And they had a Lifetime movie about it and everything. <laughs> and even when he got, what happened? After she got out or what? He, they ended they up back together. together so, yeah. Yeah. Up, bitch. I was like, well. Listen, Stockholm business? Syndrome is a real thing. Yeah. That's, that's on one hand. And on the other hand, that's just... A sixteen-year-old well, I mean, and a... at this point, I don't know, bitch. If you go to jail and decide you still want to be with that person, well, hell, I, yeah, who am I to shit. tell you anything? And you grown now at this point? Yeah, Ooh. that's you want your own. Cool. I don't know. They find my thing is, were they <laughs> were they riding each other while she was incarcerated? Yeah. Like, but that shouldn't that shouldn't have been allowed to go on though. That if they're Loose still if they're as a child, that's what I'm Loose saying. Times. Yeah, that too, and the technology wasn't. Yeah, as... shouldn't be able to. I guess that, but at this point too, they I don't know. Yeah. At this point, you can they can say that they found love and it's yeah. more than whatever it was. Mm-hmm. We don't even hell. I'm talking about the parents though. If he's still living in the parents' house and she's getting arrested and she's in jail and he's still a minor, you know what I'm saying? For him to still be riding her, like how you gonna, how you gonna, her? How you gonna change that? How you gonna shake that? You're right. Because you gotta go to school. You could go to anybody. Point. You could go to like a friend and be like, yo, I'm doing Drop this, this in the mailbox so for me. For me. Yeah. Cause I knew nothing. how I was doing foolishness when I was a kid, so exactly ain't that, that is nothing to slip around with. <laughs> yeah, nothing. yeah. But there's a next funny. one. <laughs> there's a next one I saw right before we started recording. A 22 year old martial arts instructor accused of having relationship with her student, 13, after parents see messages calling him babe. 13, 13, and 22. He don't even know how to watch. Listen, lady. listen, listen. She like, was arrested on May 4th after parents discovered romantic messages on their son's phone. What? They have messaging over Snapchat with contact name saved as my baby. What you know? Conversation where they call each other babe and I love you, but the teen quickly locked his phone and refused to give his password. Wow. Yikes. Yeah. That's- Yikes. It's giving. It said last December is when they started messaging each other. Wow. You're going to jail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me catch y'all already. Uh-uh. That way. No, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> That's not good. 13. Flores and the teen went to dinner and TJ Maxx, which the boy described as a date. TJ Maxx. And to dinner. TJ Maxx. And to dinner. Mm-hmm. We're at the Applebee's. <laughs> Chili's. Oh, my gosh. They started a sexual relationship in January. Sexual. She Yuck. sent explicit photos to the victim, but he only sent her pictures of his abdomen. Flores said they had started having sex in her car at a park. 13 and 22? He was exceeding. He was a 13-year-old in a car? Lock her up. Seriously, lock her up. She was booked into jail on six accounts of sexual conduct with a minor, one count of molestation of a child, and one yep. account of aggra- aggravated luring of a minor. Yep. Yo, these people are just lock her up. Thirteen. Bro. Oh, sister. Is, like, it's great. is it that bad out here? You over here praying on thirteen-year-olds? That's weird. At twenty-two. That's nasty. What she got going on? She the car- martial arts instructor. Hell no. Nah. Like, no, nope. <laughs> it's a no for me. That's yeah. yeah lock her up. <laughs> it's too much. Put her ass under the jail. Don't let her back out. That's nasty, son. Somebody like a thirteen-year-old picnic. Crazy. I caught a glimpse of a video. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know if I sent it to you. Who sent it to what? But it was of this pastor, right? Mm-hmm. and he was up in front of his congregation and basically saying, oh, you know, I want you guys to forgive me. I made some mistakes, whatever, whatever. Basically um, saying that he had cheated, right, on his mm-hmm. wife and stuff in the past, right? It's the pastor, right? Then all of a mm-hmm. sudden, this girl get up in the crowd, bro, and starts to say, um, are you going to apologize for basically taking my virginity out on <gasps> your office room floor when I was like 16 or some shit like that? Bruh. Bacchanal. Yo, to be a fly on the wall. Send it to you so you can see it, bro. Yes. To be a fly on the yes. wall. But wait, more people sign up and say something or just she won? She the only one for now, but you could, you know, Ooh. the way she said it, you could tell. It wasn't, that it was she wasn't those, joking she wasn't or nothing. One. You could tell. You could tell she was the only one. She was like, you took my virginity on like your office phone. I was like, 
church. Listen, since you since you confessing, you might as well confess That's to everything. Yeah, basically. You, you want to repent imagine, for what you sinning. I can't repent imagine, for everything. Though, like you in church and it's just like, yo. You sitting there listening to the word and you're like, yes, pastor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Um what happened? No, I'm just saying, like, imagine oh, you in I'm church like, and it's what? funny stand up and say, I'd have just been like, um, sis, Listen, <laughs> pastor. Is, I ain't never heard of no, like, when you in church, you know, church could get messy. And you know, mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, people business and so on. I feel like more people should out the pastor in I front agree. of the congregation. I agree. But like them kind of stuff. I had, had, like, a few times, like back in the day, a couple of different pastors, They some of them was wild and appropriate. Not with yeah. me. Yeah. Not with me, be, because listen, don't you dare, but wild inappropriate on some shit like hey what you say like that was rather yes hmm, i have listened my uh, unfortunately i shouldn't say unfortunately but i have been curvy basically my entire life and from Mm -hmm. one aspect or another before i had boobs i had ass and hips then puberty hit and they went somewhere else well i still have hips but (laughs) the inappropriate stares like excuse me what Mm mm-hmm like yeah, that. Mm-mm. That's that's wild. I don't Shout know out to you, sis though for standing you know, up. That's definitely a problem with that in some mm-hmm. parts of the world. It's 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 huh, most parts of the world. Yeah. I think it's it's a lot to I, do I'm with being specific, but I don't, yeah. I don't got time oh, to do with yes. this. Oh yes, want to cost me. I know just you one door. Especially my beloved, my beloved, my beloved island that <laughs> I love so very much. It mm-hmm. is disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. You see, look, a girl, and I go to school, and you have these big ass, old ass men, yo, tough back, just yuck, trying to be after these young girls. Like, get away! Like, mm-hmm. ugh, it made me listen. Sick, even man. me at my big age, when old, big man try to look probably, I'd be like, I know I look twelve in the face, and I know I do. Don't look at me too long, sir, grandpa. Like, back up. It's fucking they don't disgusting. Care. They don't. Just as you know, they don't care. I can't. I don't even know what to say because I have like men in my family, grown ass men that be with these young, 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 young girls. They might be of age, like just, mm. just of age. And then I'm like, like so my uncle. I'm like, y'all old as fuck. Y'all are old as hell. And they got these young. I'm like, sis, y'all don't have nothing to talk yourself? about. No, I'd be on the side, like uncle or not. I'd be like, sis, what you doing? <laughs> I'd be like, you need to come on. And that would be me. The, and then I'd be, be like, where the shit? Because they get these young girls pregnant. It's so weird mm-hmm. to me. And I'd be like, yo, what are you doing, sis? Ooh, you just said something. But they be trying saw... to be taken care of. And in certain parts, yeah. you know, some parts, you know what yeah. it's about. You know. I saw. Um, I said top island, something. Mm-hmm. What was it? I saw a post the other day that was saying, I can't remember, I'm paraphrasing. Basically, the rate of underage pregnancy, mm-hmm. um, I forgot what the percentage was. Those underage pregnancies are by, oh, like of age men, basically. So it's mm-hmm. not like they're pregnant with someone that's within two or three years older than them. It's like 10, 15 years older than them. All right. And it was just like going through the statistics of, of course, it was on the topic of abortion and everything, but mm-hmm. it was just going through the numbers and saying, you know, Y'all keep talking about girls being fast, but obviously these older men are preying on them. I mean, granted, this is something that no, us, ever wanna, we know, but nobody ever wants to do that. Yeah. All these young girls who, oh, they, you not wearing the right clothes, tempting or, and you, know, you not doing this or you doing other things. Like, I hate that. Like, yeah. And I've been there. I've been in that situation where it was like, oh, she was doing No, the fuck. I was not like, Mm-mm. I was not putting on a show like what? And Mm-mm. I was young too. And it was, of course, an older woman in my family. And she dead ass trying to play me. And I'm like, lady, like, I legit came. I have on, like, my shorts and my beater. Like, <laughs> I'm a young thing. Like, what, it's summertime. <laughs> what do you think I got on? You know what I'm saying? And because men were in the house, I look like, I was like, for real? I have never understood that. I will never understand that. You're going to tell a little girl to go put on more clothes because men are in the house? What does that say about the men in the house? Why do you have those men in your house? Girl. Like, my father, listen, <laughs> my father that seen me in some shot up shots, I lick a piece of shirt, he'd be like, where y'all going at that? Like, if I'm leaving the house. But in the house, he'll just be like, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. and, well, my father don't have nothing to worry about. 
Listen. <laughs> and well also, it's, and it's because kind of, you know I get real miserable when I'm hot. So it's just like you know better my sister than me either, though. Exactly. Yeah. You just look and be like, cool, yeah. And then exactly. Like, okay, like mm, really I guess. Me. Yes. Yeah. So it's yeah, just so like my father is very much well. You must know what you do. Exactly. He just see it as well. Listen, well, the big man. Mm-hmm. Come here, big man for putan. Hello, like. And he's very much, well, if this nigga try it, you know, <laughs> run up, get done up. <laughs> until you can, until, you know, mm-hmm. don't let me have to come handle it for you. Mm-hmm. But handle your business. <laughs> My father is definitely the type to sit back and watch what somebody's going to do before he yep. even say nothing. That. He's just going to sit there and be like, what really are going on yes, sir? And yeah, just sit on our pre and just be like. Just pre-to-scene. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is the same way. I think it's the police in him. He just be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> He'd be like, really? He'd be looking for more. He'd just be sitting there scratching. And... <laughs> for you know, he's like, really? So, mm-hmm. really? really? <laughs> Interesting. Exactly. But like we said, again, like, be safe. Like, please. On that topic, please allow yourself to be a safe space for the children or just women, people in your life. Because... A lot of people end up in these situations, like the young lady that stood up in church. That was probably the first time anyone even heard this story. Who knows how long she's been holding on to this and never said anything about it. Exactly. Because she didn't have a safe space or someone that she felt would believe her or trust her or protect her over this pastor. My thing is, you still going to that church for so long? Because I think she, at this point now, she like in her like almost maybe 30s. Whatever, whatever. Bitch, you were not. Oh, okay. Listen, man, I burned on that blood clot. I was just about that will burn a bitch <laughs> down. Listen. Listen, you have to see me on the news. <laughs> that's such a likely story. That's the crazy mm-hmm. thing. That pastor with these young girls in the church is such a likely story. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Like, please allow yourself to be a safe space for people. Mm-hmm. Not even just children, like people in general, because you can get molested. No matter <sighs> Exactly. I remember there was a news story once. So I think I was like 13 or 14. And to this day, my mom will not let us forget this story. She would be like, see, that my kid not big last year and no man like me. Mom, mom, <laughs> mom. Because this lady, I think she was like 42 or something, got kidnapped. And it was a, it was a, it was a pleasantly plump lady. She was, she was a bit heavier, you know. And my mom was like, they kidnapping everybody. Be safe. <laughs> And it was true, but just the way my mom carried on with the dramatics, I was like, lady, okay, I get it. I'm a young tenderoni or whatever. I need to make sure nobody don't come kidnap me. But everybody is capable of getting kidnapped. So, and molested, et cetera, et cetera. Sorry if we, we didn't even do no trigger warning. Mm-mm. I'm sorry to anybody that we triggered. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> but still. No trigger warning. None at all. We just came out shooting. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the first what the first and only real ever talk my mom me and my mom ever talked about like sex mm-hmm. was because some shit happened in the new and it was out in the news at the time i can't remember mm-hmm. and my mom was just watching me here she was putting two chinese bomb mm-hmm. and, and then she was just like some shit happened with a girl i think she was either raped or something molested something something and she was just like why she doing my hair what do you know about sex i was just like whoa because <laughs> you know so we did big from we did we did yeah i was kind of like this me sitting here i was like how much can i tell you girl i was like in my head i'm like uh, what don't i know but you know what i'm saying i was just like uh I, I look, me you know i look you know a few things you know mm. she was like mm, okay and then I think that was about it. Like, legit. like Because she knew like, what so. that shit meant. She was like, mm, mm, you think like, they're big. I'm, I don't think I'm big, nigga, but my eyes is wide open. <laughs> yeah. Okay? I see a lot. At the, by that point in my life, I've been through a few things. Like, I okay, I know what's going yeah. on. I know what he is. My mom allowed us to take sex ed um, in fifth grade. So, oh, you know, they sent the little... Sex ed in fifth grade. And, yeah. Like, Brooklyn, New York. They had... Oh, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> What you call it? The little consent form that day we had to take home mm. and have our parents sign. My mom's like, "Oh yes, sure." No Just sign the paper quick. School. Yeah, sign the paper and quick, quick, quick. Well, at least where I was going to school. Mm-hmm. Nah, fifth yeah. grade. I was, I was still no. But we had the um that end of the year video shit <laughs> when they separate the boys and the girls. They, and they separate the video. Shit. Oh no, yeah, no. They had the girls over here. The boys over here had the video playing. 
little demonstrations. We were all in there putting made, condoms blah, 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 on uh, blah. bananas. I was like, girl, don't nobody want to see this. We know what the hell going on here. At well, 10. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to watch this shit. Got niggas putting condoms on bananas and freaking, what was the other something they had us? Listen. <laughs> But my mom was definitely all about, like, the education. She was like, listen, mm-hmm. if you need to know, come ask me. Don't ask you look a kiss-me-ass friend them nothing because they're going to tell you the bad information or whatever, wrong information. Yeah, and next thing you know, I got shit to do with. I had no damn sex talk. I kind of just... That was the extent of it, though. It wasn't like, no, the birds and the beat. No, no, it was like, just... We ain't never had no damn sex talk. It just never... And also, happened. she let I me read... It's just like, we think this mother effer knows <laughs> <laughs> what the hell going on. Listen, my mom allowed me to read Zane books and Eric Jerome Dickey books. So well, my thing is, it was no allowance. Listen, I was gonna read them bitches anyway, and well, um, I don't know if they knew what the hell I was reading. But <laughs> I think they were just excited at the fact that I love to read. Mm. So well, it wasn't really okay. You like to read, and you clearly not out here running around. So I'm guessing you have sense mm-hmm. and know how to put things in context, right? Read your book. Because if I did all the things I read about, child, I don't think I would be alive right now. Listen, so, you. All them ghetto I, books. I was about to say, all them ghetto novels I'd be I, reading. Listen, I would be a friggin', listen, I would be. Somebody hood rat, baby. Listen, everything. everything. Crackhead. Oh, all type of shit. Listen. Okay. The what? The drug yeah. dealer, baby mama, and all that. Mm-hmm. They were the bread over the day at prison and come back on. Exactly. No, <laughs> Exactly. The ghetto. So, but um I yeah, my keep it 100 with mine. Listen, when you yeah. get to that age where I f- listen, once I feel the little smell coming off you, mm-hmm. you know what that means? That means when I know you starting to get a little mm-hmm. puberty start rolling in. That is time to have start having little bits of a talk. We don't mm-hmm. have to have the full thing. We're mm-hmm. going to we can start though. We can start to get you need to know what this is and that is. You know what your parts is called. You know what that is called. Okay, we're not yes. doing okay. A the stork real dro- name a stork dropped you off. No, I'm not doing that shit. Please, absolutely we're not. Doing not. That. Nothing dropped you off on the fucking doorstep. <laughs> like fucking I hate doorstep. that shit so bad. A stork came and it dropped you off. Really, nigga? Now Just I grew ha- up knowing you're a liar. Like I, I don't have time. So you're not doing a tooth fairy thing either. We talking about different things. No, nope. that's different. <laughs> we talking about different things. I like the two fairy thing because my parents did it with me. Same. And I always had money up under the pillow. Yes. You feel me? Like I was making out. Listen, I was like, how we get another tooth out, bitch? I need another. Listen, oh, dog, you <laughs> bitch. Listen, <laughs> one next one run a car out with. It was I'm like twenty four tooth, son. You feel me? So I like stuff like that. Um, <laughs> that's like the whole Santa Claus thing. Hmm. Like my parents, we did the Santa Claus thing to an extent, but I obviously yeah. knew we, we knew, knew it Santa, was no Santa Claus. Santa Claus. About it. We yeah. knew it, but it's just it's like a holiday story. Yes, it's cute. It gives kids like oh, like I definitely I'm still gonna do that, and it's I hope fantasy. nobody comes and be like, you know, shit ain't real. Why don't you shut the hell up and just let kids be kids? Like That's we're not problem. telling them a fat white man too early. They take away jumping down a chimney. Yeah. Like why are you stressing them out? No, because a lot of these parents are like, I ain't saying no white. What? Is, how does it go? I don't, I'm no, not white man white coming man down, coming, coming down, down my chimney. No, I work for no. this shit. I, I work hard. Fucking relations, nigga. <laughs> Damn, let the kids have some fun, <laughs> bitch. How about you? Fuck it. You get the Santa Claus suit then. Exactly. They can do that too. Ugh. Yeah, some people just be too like uptight about it and be like, oh, well, what about the religious aspect of it? Listen, we can still oh, sing Silent God. Night and still get our little oh, baby of Nazareth, uh, what you call it, baby in a manger set up, the nativity set or whatever. I don't why they can't go together. Like, they can't go hand in hand. I want me a little Silent Night, Holy Night. Listen, I love Santa me a good Claus. Silent it Night. Goes. Okay. It all goes. It's going to be playing while Santa is eating the cookies in the milk. Yo, okay. Because you think I'm going a, I'm to a give up, um, what you call it, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. That's my Here's jam. I'm not giving that up. The DMX Master version. Dancer, Prancer, all them niggas. I'm not giving them up. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> how we end up talking about Christmas? <laughs> no. I don't know how we ended up there. We, oh, tooth fairy shit. Cause yes. Sex, tooth, yeah. That. But still. Mm-hmm. Let kids be kids. Believe your yeah, children when they the tell you things. Story. Protect each other, etc. That's definitely the moral story. Let and children yeah. be children, for real. Exactly. And, you know, I still feel like we should burn this shit down, wash it away, f- try again, because... What what shit exactly do you mean? The world? The earth. Like, yes. This, this ghetto-ass marble car. <laughs> yes. This ghetto-ass marble. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This episode is going to be the one that's called Help, because what is happening? Like, Not, I don't know. What's some good news? We're alive. We're all functioning. <laughs> I mean, our families are good. Everybody's good. Everybody's working. And, and you know what I'm saying? I don't. Uh, mm-hmm. 
I don't know. I think it's just something to, in the air. How, how's your mental health? Me? Mm-hmm. Oh no! Don't put me on. <laughs> don't put me on display. It's terrible. No. Nah. <laughs> um, I'm. I am. I I'm okay. I'm good. I'm all right. I guess I'm tired mm. of whatever's in the air. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Still, definitely, still trying to push through. Definitely better than I have been in like a few last past few months. Just okay. getting back and used to everything, COVID, everybody going back. Hit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Different switches. I'm okay, though. I'm okay. I have I just need to, I think I need to learn how to take more time away again. Mm-hmm. Again, yes. Back up from social media again, if I can and when I can, again, because I'm tired. I feel like every time I go on something, something is happening. Mm-hmm. Like, And I feel like that's just like... Psh, 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 Sensory psh, overload. Yeah, and it's just like nicking at me sometimes. Mm-hmm. Shit happens to kids. I'm like, oh my God, these babies. Yeah. And it upsets me and it makes me sad. I don't know, but I'm straight. I mean, I'm blessed. I cannot complain. I'm good. Me and mines are good. We're, you know... That's what's yeah. up. You, friend? Same, just tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Like, if y'all follow me on social media, I'll be posting bullshit. I, I haven't even really been on Twitter like that the past mm-hmm. few days. Because, like, I... It's... Yeah. Yeah. It's, yep. it's, it's, it's a you lot. You really have enough energy to deal with yourself some and deal with these people's job. Mm-hmm. And just try to figure out the rest. Like, because... Find happy places in between because... That's what I'm saying. And then also having to understand that it's okay that every moment... That's... I think that's the only thing with my mental that I'm working with. That it's okay... To not be like, cat, you should be up doing something like right now, right now, right now, right now. Yes. Or Ooh. like you're not doing enough right now, right now. Speaking right of, now. Spirit's like, bitch, okay, Spirit says chill out. Okay. Spirit says, I want rest you to second. know I slept all day yesterday. Okay. Like, I woke up, I was probably up for maybe That's five hours Spirit total. Is easy, easy, nigga. Listen, well. I'm say, I woke up and I realized that the something says sold out. I went at eight. I'm a little dog. I was watching Stranger Things. Listen. Piece of sleep catch me missing. Oh, I woke up. It was like eight something. I said, "Oh shit, it's dark Damn outside it. right now." I was like, "Wow." I was. My body was like, "Girl, what are you? What are you doing?" I didn't even really do nothing on Sunday either. Like, I think I slept maybe four hours Sunday. I got in the house like at four something after the party and woke up at like eight. And I was like, "Why am I awake?" I couldn't go back to sleep. And then all day Monday, knocked out. And I was like, "Yeah, that was great. That was absolutely great." I just. There's a lot of foolishness going on. Um, yeah, that's what it is for me. Too much yeah. people falling off for however many different reasons. Oh, my gosh. Pause. Pull up. Sorry. R.I.P. Steely Bach. Didn't even realize. Because, yeah. 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 You said falling off and that. I was, like, I was oh, getting shit. there. Yeah. But, yeah. Rest mm. in peace, Steely Bach. For those of you who are not familiar with Steely Bach, he is one half of Miami Dream Team, which Dream is like. Team? the soca djs of miami like they are they both trini they yeah. are fucking amazing like and if yeah. i mean if you've been to one of the parties you had to have seen Steely Bob. exactly you you heard his voice he is yeah, the voice, voice of dream but team I'm saying if you don't know him like even by yeah. seeing it's like if you yeah, yeah that, that was weird like blue mohawk <laughs> yeah it came yeah. out of nowhere that shit came out of nowhere yeah like, like when you sent me the post i was it like was, I think I like, Candace sent it to me. Candace really? Sent it to me. And I'm like, what? I was like, no way. Because you messaged me. You said, Steely. I'm like, what the fuck? What happened? What are you talking about? Because when you messaged me, I, I told you I was at a work dinner. Mm-hmm. So um, a lunch with one of, the, one of the owners. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, Steely, what? What about Steely? I was like, what happened? Something. And it's mm-hmm. like some foolishness. Because the last time we saw him on something, it was mm-hmm. some foolishness. And I was just like, so I go, of course, as soon as I go on Instagram, Boom. I'm like, what like i legit stop i was like wait i was like nah what the f- my nigga you don't man i just wow shout out to them guys yo y'all mm-hmm. don't know man y'all don't know y'all do a lot for the culture for real mm-hmm. and thank you just thank you literally thank you, thank you. much legit. respect much love listen listen sinister take my eccentrics listen everybody Whew. everybody but listen my sound mm. yeah 
but rest in peace. them something there. Like that, even that last week, I was like, yeah. for a few hours, I think I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like just life just shot. So if it's not one thing or the fuck out of this, what I'm saying, it's just be like <sighs> grateful for life, grateful for mm-hmm. improvements and progress and all these things. But it's like, I got to find my way into being like, Ugh, again, and just blacking out certain shit. The thing I hate about that is that I feel like I'm desensitized from like, quote unquote, the trauma. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to like, feel like it's normal that the bullshit is happening. That's so it's just I like, feel. yeah, sometimes it's just I'm like, not surprised. Sometimes I'm just like, well, yeah, look at this now. Exactly. Like, okay. That's crazy to the point where people are not even like surprised by shit no more. It's just mm-hmm. like, oh, another day. Great. Yeah. That, that'd be um, me. I'd be like, great. <laughs> Again. Okay. Literally. Like, okay. Yeah. Like I was saying before, not too long ago, I was just like, let's just pick on, like, pick a flight and go. Like, <laughs> let's just go somewhere. I just, just let's go. Forget it. Like, I don't know. Just somewhere. I don't give a damn at this point. If there's no damn Wi Fi, if there's no That's whatever. probably better. Okay. With some water and just a vibe, just a calm, steady vibe, just to unplug. Cause it's one, it's like plug into one thing or the other. You either on your phone or you at work or you you're communicating. You know what I'm saying? Social mm-hmm. media. It's just like no. I need yeah. me an unplug session. Listen, you know me. Like half the time I'm driving, it is in complete silence. Like, and lately I've been trying to drive without using my GPS. Okay. So like, yeah, I've been you know getting here and there. Like I'll check mm-hmm. it just to see traffic. Like if I'm oh, gonna I run into GPS some hack. foolishness, I love me some ways. I be like. I love Please GPS, but yes, bitch. Oh, I don't tell care me about them niggas. I don't traffic light, traffic camera. Yes, bitch. <laughs> tell me. I love me. I love me some ways. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been like trying to like just stay away from that. Like try to get to more acclimated with the city or whatever. Mm-hmm. But whatever. Step by step, day by day. Mm-hmm. And patience all. with oneself because mm-hmm. there's a lot going on and it's impossible to believe that we don't feel any of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And Some be sure to extend grace to people. Yeah, and, and grace, like, fuck, including yourself, not mm-hmm. just other people, yourself too, because that'd be the hardest person to extend grace to is <laughs> again. So. so it's just like, yeah, definitely necessary. Yep. But um, I don't know. I wish everybody well, man, and your mental health and stuff. Do what you got to do. Meditate, write it out. All of that, and know. it's the last day of Mental Health Awareness Month. Month. Now we it doesn't mean month. exactly. Uh-huh. It does not mean that y'all should stop caring about your mental, mental health, health. and correct. the mental health of others. You should see practicing, etc. Making sure you're good and checking in with yourself. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, um, I don't think I have anything else. Um, happy Pride to those who we say. are. Especially to my gaybies. Please, please be safe. Please. Y'all go out to these prides, like I said, it's your first time. Be safe. Speaking of, was that you who sent me another one of these? um, What was it? This man was dating somebody in Jamaica from off of Tinder or something like that. Oh, shit. Yeah, go ahead. And was getting scammed for however much thousands of dollars. Go ahead. And apparently his driver was his man. The driver oh. was Missy. Oh. So he went to Jamaica. He ended up meeting the guy that he was talking to on Tinder. Went to Jamaica uh-huh. to pick up whatever. So the guy, the other guy was supposed to be his driver, like his best friend. Uh-huh. So apparently, that's his man. One wow. Thing that's yeah. Talking about um, be careful about who you're talking to and all these things. I'm just like, why y'all just keep doing this? <laughs> like Y'all don't hear the stories? <laughs> just y'all... stay away. Bro, I can't imagine... <laughs> With a heart, like to be so brave, me not that. Nah, nah, I don't got no, that. Man. To be so brave, for God, Jamaica, but me not link up. Me not link with that. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. I ain't right. with nobody. Did you see that um Twitter page I had sent you a while back? With um, yes, I saw it. <laughs> Yep, I had to get loud because yes, I saw it. You are wild. <laughs> no, that was Tifa that sent it to me, and I was like, I'm gonna, I gotta send this twin. <laughs> what y'all don't know? Like, I clicked on this thing, it was like, the sausage all over the place. <laughs> listen, okay, I'll type this a man out here. Like, somebody definitely there, yard. 
Oh yeah. Definitely, because yes. somebody holds in my room, I'm furniture, yes. and something that the decoration. Very... Yeah, yeah, Miss one with the KFC man, I do delivery. Oh yes, that that was a regular thing apparently. Yo, the man come, I do delivery at the next man yard. Well, yeah, look, man, cock up in the door, we <laughs> let's go. Yo, in a flip flop. Yo, Miss. <laughs> Yo, it better no, be a man. big deal, you know, Rasta. <laughs> I and then look like saying man left with the KFC you ain't come with. Yeah, like, yeah. excuse me. Like, yeah, bring one next delivery like, yeah, go somewhere the story else. Line mess up. The storyline no good. <laughs> Bad storyline. I don't like my flicks with storylines. You know what's funny? But... <laughs> it depends. Like it's but it's gotta be really like real life convincing. And they're not. So that's this is where they get the big L. Cause I want some like you talking about you bank rob. Like I want some shit. Like I wanna feel like, mm-hmm. oh shit, this nigga really trying to uh, mm-hmm. but it it'd be whack as fuck. Mm, mm, mm. But like, yeah, I don't man. have any money. Like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, this man talking about how he dealt with all kind of politician and they in the house with a man when their wife upstairs asleep. But I'm like Y'all carrying on with some serious yeah. slackness. They be having, it be like six, sometimes six, seven of them in a room, mask on, baby. I'm like, yo. Mm. Listen. Like, ah, some gal baby daddy. Mm-hmm. And some gunman wanna talk some about. Some gunman, yo. Yo. Okay, yeah. The yeah, gays are not are. surprised. We already know. Oh, listen. But... <clears throat> Let me shut up. Anyway. Yes. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> again, be careful. Please be careful. Please. If not for me, for Onomada. <laughs> for real, y'all people shit. Y'all granny. <laughs> but um, yeah, so make sure y'all you check us be out. Be careful, man. Please. Yes. Again, just please. And yeah, if you're driving, go. drive safely. If you're too please. drunk, don't drive. Etc. Get a designated driver. Somebody in the group smoke weed and don't really drink like that. Let that nigga drive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe to us on all the streaming platforms. Check us out on all the social media platforms. Also, we are on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Everything. Everything. Pointless Talks. You can contact Sugar if you so choose. <laughs> Yo, people be hitting you up. No, people don't okay. hit me up. People do not contact me for oh, shit. They don't because they be messaging high. Pointless Talks looking for you. But how, the uh, fuck? how how's that possible <laughs> how's it possible so they don't listen number one i don't want them to talk to me because i have this no ears look how many times you gotta tell them what my instagram is that means an absence no matter come over here so that means i don't no matter contact oh my gosh they do not be looking for me don't even <laughs> to say what fuckery to say what hello fuckery yeah hello. literally <laughs> literally hi I'm hello tell sugar, tell sugar i say hi are you drunk? Like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> I feel like y'all so cute. Anyways, um, subscribe to us wherever you listen to podcasts. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out the unboxings, on moldings, etc. If you need craft. a craft, <laughs> um, check us out on pointlesstalks.com slash crafts. And yeah, just like everything else, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so so much for listening to this episode of Pointless Talks. Yes, good night. sir. Good night. Good night. Happy Pride. <laughs>